Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Blazers versus Spurs NBA matchup on Friday, December 29th, 2023. Of course, if you like our free picks that we do every day at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. You can find those over at the website. Of course, we also have the Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays. These are not available at the website. You got to text that number that you see on the screen. Uh, it's the only way to get these meant for people who have big bank rolls and make big bets. So if that's you, text that number. But let's get to this one. Blazers taking on the Spurs. This is game two of a true back to back. Both these games in Portland. And I don't see, you know, much, you know, difference about what's going on here. But what we see is a Portland team that is just twice as good as this Spurs team. You know, I just think that the Spurs just refuse to play defense this year. And for my money, well, I don't bet on teams that don't play defense. And whether they have some success in spots, which of course we're going to see, it certainly doesn't instill any kind of confidence that the Spurs are going to be anything more than a lottery team once again that's drafting in the top three. The thing is there is no Victor Webanyama in this year's NBA draft. There's certainly a lot of quality players, but I believe that this year's NBA draft, the quality runs a lot deeper, and that means that you don't have those cherry picker cream of the crop players on top. And as you know, we learned last year, and as we've learned so many times throughout history, when you draft these guys, you know, that we haven't seen at the college level as well, boy, you're not sure what you're gonna get. Because for every Luca and Kobe, well, there's a Darko and, you know, Scoot, you know, here for the Blazers who I think the jury is still out on this guy. I think he can play, but I think, you know, we're going to have to see more from him on a consistent level. And I think, like I said, he's got the, purely has the talent. It's just always tough because we never saw this guy. It's not like Brandon Miller that we saw at Alabama, you know, busting people up or, you know, Chet, you know, who we saw at Gonzaga, you know, who still doing the same things, right? The tall guy that can do it inside, outside, can pass it all over the place, sort of like a web Yama almost, you know, maybe a little smaller, um, which is crazy to even believe because he's giant in his own right. But the thing is, is that, you know, I just think that the Spurs need a lot of help right now. And I don't see that help coming on the way. I think a lot of it to me is, you know, that on the defensive end is where it's what it's all about effort. And when you don't see um, a team performing on the defensive side, like the Spurs don't, well, that to me is where you see a lot of problems. And I think, you know, when you look at this at the Spurs, you know, offense, it's it's not good enough to offset how bad the defense is. I mean, this is clearly just one of the worst defenses in the entire NBA, and it's not even close. I mean, they are just absolutely terrible on on all different fronts. And I, I, I know that the Blazers offense certainly doesn't set the world on fire, but I think that, you know, when you're playing against the worst defense in the NBA, well, you tend to look a little bit better. I'm going to have to go with the Blazers again, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.